He's the man who symbolizes the beginning of a dark period for the French president, Emmanuel Macron. Alexandre Benalla defended himself before a Senate inquiry on Wednesday. This former security officer for the president was fired after video showed him beating May Day protesters. Before the committee, he thanked the Elysee and defended himself as a simple coordinator responsible for logistics. He denied having been a bodyguard to the head of state and remained vague on the conditions of his recruitment. But questions remain about how he obtained a Gluck 43 pistol and how he ended up directly engaged in security at the May Day demonstrations in Paris. Since the controversy, Macron's entire summer has been marred with misfortune. After the dismal departure of his emblematic Minister of Ecology, Nicolas Hulot, it's the turn of the Minister of the Interior to discuss his future goodbyes. Gérard Colomb has announced his desire to run for mayor of Lyon again, so he'll leave after the European elections. To ward off bad luck, the president is multiplying his announcements with a poverty plan and a health plan to keep his head out of the water. When the Benalla scandal erupted in mid-July, Emmanuel Macron described it as a storm in a teacup. But two months later, we can see that this case has seriously impacted his credibility, not only in France, but also in Europe. After Benalla, the resignation of Nicolas Hulot and bad economic figures for the country, European leaders have begun to doubt his ability to reform France and Europe. More than his charm, he'll need very good arguments to convince his European counterparts that he's still the man for the job. Stéphane de Vries pour Euronews à Paris.